If you're going on a cruise, I know you're probably thinking about the items that you want to order from Amazon. Well, I have to tell you, my order just came in with a few new things that I ordered from Amazon and I ordered, well, I ordered a few things, but I ordered one thing that I honestly, I, I think I'm in love. I just love this item so much. Anyway, I'm going to show you just in this video. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website and blog Life While Cruised, where we help thousands of cruisers a month get ready for their cruise with our cruise travel tips. Now today what I'm going to be doing is going over 20 um, Amazon cruise essentials. So basically the kind of cruiser favorites that you can order on Amazon or, or maybe find the products elsewhere, but they are particularly on Amazon. And what I did is I just actually ordered a few new things that I wanted to try. So I'll actually show you those here today as well. Now, before I get started, I just wanted to mention that if you do like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it and it helps my channel to grow and I certainly do appreciate that. And at the same time, let me know your favorites because there's probably some things that I'm not gonna mention and that are going to be your favorites or maybe some things I mentioned that you love. So please let me know in the comments below. And of course, if you like cruise content then like this, then please consider subscribing to the channel. Now let's get started with those Amazon essentials or Amazon favorites for your cruise. So I'm going to be going through 20 items, but they're in no particular order. Um, however, I will start with something that I do think is really important. It's a cruise approved power bar. Now in uh, a cruise ship, uh, in the cabins, there's actually not a lot of um, outlets. Usually there's one and sometimes two, but that's going to be it for the whole cabin. And with everybody having all sorts of electronic equipment and telephones and stuff like that and chargers, um, we really usually need more than that. So on some newer ships, there sometimes are a couple of USBs, um, but often really not. So I do suggest um, a cruise proof power bar. I just ordered this one. Uh, now because I had misplaced my old one and this is again it's non-surge protected so it's really important it can't be one that you have like in your family room or something or in your tv room it really needs to be specifically uh, meant to be non-surge protective and oftentimes you can find them on amazon it's going to say cruise approved so I will leave links down in the description below as well as a blog post which just has everything plus even a few more things if you want so I'll leave that below and this is kind of neat I just ordered this so I'll show it to you um this kind of goes here uh there and then this way it kind of becomes a telephone stand as well so this is handy like usually um, you would be able to plug this like in the desk area. There's often at the very bottom, that's where you would uh, be able to have your outlets and you plug this and it does have one, two, three USBs and two extra outlets. So I like that. This is the box that it comes in. This is what I bought. And it does show that it has a 30 year warranty. So that's really quite good. So that is number one. Number two, you might wanna bring an over the door organizer. And basically this can be something where you put your toiletries in, you can put your um, sunscreen, your shampoo, all sorts of things. I think especially when you have a family with children um, and you might even wanna put um, some hair elastics in, um, one pouch, all different sorts of things that it's really, really handy. And I will give you a little tip that one of my friends uh, uses. And what she does is she actually pre-packs her over the door organizer that she'll place later on over the bathroom door, but she pre-packs it at home and puts it in her suitcase so that when she arrives on the cruise, she can actually just hang that up. It takes no time when she wants to repack it at the end of the cruise. Also, it goes right in the suitcase. I think it's a phenomenal idea. Number three, now something that a lot of people really love are packing cubes. Now being completely honest, about a year ago, I bought packing cubes and I just didn't love them. They didn't work for me. I bought some that were flimsy and I returned them to Amazon. Amazon is great with that, but I decided to try it again because I know people just love this. So that's what I decided to do. So what I bought is, these are actually Gonex. I don't know if you can see it. And it's a package of nine. So I'm gonna give this a try. And if I like them, I'm actually going to buy some more because then what I'll do is um, we're going to be three people on our cruise, myself, my husband, and my son. And then this way I might even try 
different um, colors for everybody in the family. And I thought especially that like when we're putting certain things on the shelf, it could be so handy, um, you know, even in the drawers. Um, like in this case, this package has, um, this package has some larger sizes and some medium sizes and comes with like a small, um, a couple of pouches as well, which can be really handy. So I'm actually quite liking these. They actually do look good. Maybe I'll, I'll show you for a moment. So these are Gonex and you can see like, this is not the only package that's available. I just happened to buy the size that was nine because I thought I need at least nine. I know that five is probably not going to do for me. We're three people. And I thought nine was a good start to see because uh, I have different sizes this way to see what I really think. And I think I will buy some more, but I'm kind of loving this. This is a really, really good size. So this should be able to put a few things. Now in another video, maybe what I'll do is I'll actually pack it and see how it works so I can really kind of give, it's just my opinion, but the reviews are amazing. I think that there's over um, over 3000 reviews that are five star. So I know that the Go Next brand, I think has been really well reviewed and that's why I decided this time to order from that brand. What I will do is I will leave, um, I'll leave the information below if you do wanna check that out on Amazon. Number four, consider bringing a water bottle that's refillable or a coffee mug that's refillable that you can take with you, obviously depending on how much you drink, but especially if you don't have a beverage package, you are probably gonna wanna have something that you can carry with you and as well that you can also bring with you on excursions. Number five, so don't forget to bring a portable phone charger. And something to remember is that phones, just the battery doesn't seem to last as long as they used to. I know with my own iPhone that's relatively new, it just doesn't last as long. So I like to keep an extra portable phone charger and basically for short excursion days or other days where I'm just using my phone a lot, especially to take pictures, it seems like it just goes and goes and goes. So you might wanna bring that with you as well. Number six, so think about in the cabin that you might want a pop-up hamper or a mesh hamper just to keep those dirty clothes organized and away. And you can even throw, if you bring a mesh hamper, you can even throw it in your suitcase every couple of days underneath the bed. Number seven, one of my very favorite things ever are these um, flamingo towel clips. I bought them a few cruises ago and I just love them. It took me years somehow to buy them. I don't know why. And we bought a couple of different kinds. So I'll actually link uh, the video where I first talked about them up uh, above and that's my packing tip video. So that'll kind of give you all of the basics that you need for your cruise and more. And I also bought these. I haven't actually even opened them yet. So um, I did buy these last cruise. I don't know why we just didn't use them. I bought some extra towel clips because we were three and I really only have two of these really cute ones. So towel clips. Number eight. So actually super important is to bring a first aid kit or at least some first aid items. So whether or not you keep it in a kit or you just keep all your items in a toiletry bag or in a Ziploc bag, make sure that you have your basics for your first aid items. So I will leave actually um, a blog post uh, about first aid items down below. And I'll also leave uh, the video about first aid items. Uh, don't forget that that is like so important for your cruise. I'm gonna leave that in a link above and I'll also leave it in uh, the description below so that you can find it. It's actually super important. And I think it's one of the things that people often forget about are those over-the-counter medication and lip balms and things like that, that sometimes they end up needing. Number nine, consider bringing a nightlight for your cruise. A lot of people love them. What we do actually is I don't use a nightlight. What I usually do is instead I open the door in the bathroom, um, just a little crack. And I find that that works for me, but other people love a nightlight. So I'm gonna leave that uh, down below and that might be something you want for your cruise. Number 10. So something else that you might wanna bring are luggage tags. And I'm gonna show you the luggage tags. And this is an example of one, it's a Holland America um, size. And this one works for Holland America, Princess, um, Carnival, some other cruise lines as well. So you do wanna make sure that you're getting the luggage tag holders that are um, the right size for your cruise, uh, for your cruise line. And they come in a package like this. So this package I believe came with eight. And just to show you the difference, if you put your luggage tags in here, you just attach that onto your luggage and it's just super handy and they are actually reusable. 
versus um, this is what it comes like from the cruise line and it's not a problem. You can fold these up. This is the way you do it. Fold the luggage tag. They actually do work. So you can do this without having those plastic luggage tags, but you're going to fill it out, of course, the same way you would for this, but you'll fill that out. And then when you um, get near the cruise port, maybe at the hotel the morning before your cruise, or if you've driven in at uh, the morning of the cruise, or if you've flown in the morning of the cruise, what you're gonna do is you're gonna have to, after that, staple this onto your luggage. So you have to bring a little mini stapler with you so that you can staple this, or you have to bring some tape. And then you have to hope that with, um, you know, like the fact that it's just paper, that it doesn't tear off. So I really do actually love these luggage tags. And um, so that is what I suggest because you can reuse them, especially it kind of just makes things a little bit easier. So number 11, I don't have it with me, but you might want to bring binoculars if you're going to Alaska, if you're going somewhere, um, even in the Caribbean, you might just really love to look out and to see if you can find those flying fish and the whales and the dolphins and those binoculars really help. And something else, number 12 are water shoes. Now you don't actually need water shoes depending on where you're going, but sometimes the beaches are rocky. Uh, sometimes they've got little pebbles. Other times you might be doing an excursion where it might be a little bit slippy and having water shoes can be really handy. And again, those are reusable. So depending on where you're going, you might want to have those with you. So next up is a hanging toiletry bag. Now I just bought this and this is the thing that I was telling you about that I'm actually super excited about. I love it. So basically what this is, is it hangs like this. And I love the fact that it's got these pouches that actually come apart. So what you could do is you can actually take um, these pouches apart and I'm thinking about how I could use these by putting like toothbrushes in one and by putting first aid stuff in another. Even um, the night before the cruise, we usually stay at a hotel. So even that I don't have to bring everything in and I can just bring one part of it. I am just loving that. So this is, if you are interested, it is the Royal Fair uh, bag maker. And I love this bag. It's available in this bright sort of purple color and also in black and gray. Number 14, you might want to bring a portable fan for your cabin. And basically you could bring some portable small fans and the one that I'm suggesting is actually battery operated and it's pretty quiet too and it gets really good reviews. So people um, say that they love this portable fan. It is definitely a cruiser favorite. So a portable fan is something that you might want to bring. And also number 15 is a digital alarm clock. And it's really a simple alarm clock. And the reason for that is that sometimes you just want um, an alarm clock that doesn't do anything much, but it just tells you the time. And especially the fact that on a cruise, sometimes the time on the ship um, changes as you're going into a different island's uh, time zone. So that kind of helps you to kind of keep track um, of the ship time as well. Number 16. Now, something also that's really good on a cruise, especially in a cabin, are magnetic hooks. And these are definitely a favorite on Amazon. But I will show you what I bought because I think I made a little bit of a fail. And I will show you. So I bought these and they hold up to 78 pounds. I wanted something that was going to be really kind of like was able to hold the backpacks and things like that. But I ended up ordering something. I don't know if you can see it is really, I think these are just too small. So I think I'm going to actually return these to Amazon and I'll have to be a little bit more cautious about what I buy that I am buying uh, the larger ones. I don't need them to be very large, but I need it to be a little bit larger than these. These are six in a box. But so something to think about is that when you are buying your magnets, that they are heavy duty. And the reason is that you want to make sure because they're hanging maybe horizontal, you do want to make sure that they can hold your backpacks and your sweaters and your things like that. Number 18. So something kind of simple, but especially you never know that you can have rainy days sometimes. It's just, it's kind of a, a good travel thing is just bring a travel umbrella. I think this one is actually a little bit big. Um, I don't remember exactly where we got this one, but I probably should get something a little bit smaller, but bring an umbrella with you because that's pretty handy. And something else that's really popular, especially now, if you're doing um, like a beach excursion are portable lock boxes. And what these are is they're pretty handy and they can actually, they have a little, um, a little key lock on them. Um, and you can just put like 
all of your valuable stuff in it and it actually attaches to your beach chair if you like. So um, that's something that a lot of people are reporting that they're really liking. And I haven't actually used it before, but I do see that that is definitely an Amazon favorite now. Number 20, last but not least, is um, a good shore excursion bag. So especially if you're doing any boat um, or beach type excursions, you really want something handy that you can have with you to bring all of your things. Um, so I suggest something that's really quite large that you can actually keep like all of your towels. So I actually just bought this, I'll just show you, it's like so super big from um, Amazon. And I think that I quite like it actually. So you can see, I'm gonna show you the interior. You can see um, the interior, it looks like it's all waterproof and it's super big. So it can actually keep like, it looks to me like it could easily keep four towels, some water bottles. I'm gonna like put the link below, but it actually has quite a few things even it in it. This is um, a waterproof phone pouch. So this comes with it as well. So I really kind of like this. And this brand is called, um, it's the Kuap one. I'm going to look a little bit closer at it, but I really quite like this one. But definitely bring a shore excursion bag that you can uh, bring to the beach um, and on your excursions. And what I really like too is, you know, consider bringing it as your carry-on bag uh, because on the first day of your cruise of course you're going to want to bring things for that first day so you could of course bring a carry-on bag that has wheels if you want but you can also bring something that's kind of beachy especially if it's a caribbean cruise or a bermuda cruise or a mexico cruise so those are the 20 items that i suggest um, that are really amazon favorites i hope that this has been helpful for you um, if it has please do give it a thumbs up and let me know what your favorites are let me know what you will be bringing on your cruise, some things maybe that we didn't mention that should be mentioned. I will leave the blog post um, below that has about 25 items in it. Um, so that might be helpful, especially if you wanna have all of those details um, that will be in the description below, as well as the other videos and blog posts that I mentioned that could be helpful as you're planning your cruise. So thank you so much for watching. And again, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to the channel for more cruise content. I am on Instagram and I am on Facebook and I'd love to connect with you there. Happy cruising.